Before we get started, I just want to say yes, I'm still taking a break from YouTube. I'm only coming back to do Dead by Daylight videos whenever new content's released in the files and these game theory videos because I know a large portion of you guys have subs for those two things and I would feel like I'm letting you guys down if I don't cover them. When we're on the brink of the first gate just opened, we're waiting on the second gate and Christmas is coming up for Dead by Daylight and obviously they're going to release some stuff. So those are the only videos I'll be making in the meanwhile for you guys. That brings me to this video which is about the Game Theory ARG and I just wanted to say that it's really awesome that so many people flooded the website that we actually broke it. So diving in at the beginning, a lot of us received emails from Creator Inc which told us that the first gate has actually opened. Now if you're unaware of who that is, that is the company that actually sells the merch for both game theory and film theory. Now upon entering the first gate, we were prompted with five different keys, with five different questions, and each had three hints. The first key being the Famicom. The second key was Koopa Troopa. The third was Yoshi Safari, which these are a bit more difficult to get because you had to download the videos and run them through like spectral analysis and reverse the audio and speed it up. Which brings us over here to the fourth one, which if you sped up the audio and reversed it, you would get the overworld theme from Legend of Zelda. And finally, the fifth key, which was translating the Konami code into characters on the keyboard. Now if any of this was tricky, MatPat did give us several hints to help us switch each of the keys. Upon completing the first gate, this is what we see, that we got 500 points for completing the whole gate, and it was 50 points per each gate, which this is based on time limit, so the longer you take, the less points you will earn. But we are told to catch our breath because the next gate may just be around the corner, and we'll come back to this in just a moment. After making it through, we are presented with a pop-up of MatPat himself. And the pop-up is just Matt Pat congratulating us and talking about the faster we get through the gate, the higher our ranks was. And as a reward, we get a brand new clue that we'll have no idea what to do with. Now here is the new hint that we'll have no idea what to do with that he talks about and then laughs evilly about. So the new hint was the box art for a game called Act Razor, which came out back in December of 1990 for Japan and then in North America in November of 1991. The game was released for the NES and it's just a side-scroller platforming action game. Now there may actually be two things here. First, one he said that the next gate may be around the corner. Around the corner is December and December 16th was originally when this game was released so that might be when the second gate opens. But also there was longitude and latitude lines on this picture as well. Now when we plug those numbers into Google we actually end up with the address 27 McCarthy Road, Alaska which there is a property around this point but the specific coordinates look like they're for the wood so maybe there's something around that place maybe Matt has a friend in Alaska and there's some hint that we can find with Google Street View. I'm not aware of any, but if you guys find anything, let me know. When plugging that website into stuff like Zillus, there is a property that pops up, so maybe there's a hint over there. If anybody's in the area, check out the woods, let us know what you find. Now I tried looking through different images that I could find to see if I could find any hints within the images. I came up with nothing, but again, I'm not an experienced Photoshop person, so if you guys find anything, feel free to let me know in the comments. I was really hoping that something would be hidden in the background for the webpage with the gate, but unfortunately I didn't find anything. We gotta keep our eyes on the website though, just like we did before. Now this is what the next gate will look like. I didn't find any hints within the picture, but if you guys find anything that I missed or any new information about the next gate or anything like that, feel free to let me know in the comments. We'll go ahead and get this thing cracked as soon as we can. Now with everybody who's buying merch, I don't know if all packages will get these or some will, and if there will be different cards like there was last time. Time. But we can already see that in some of these packages people are getting messages from MatPat. So thank you to Telstar for this pick and if anybody gets these cards put them online go to Twitter and tweet them with the hashtag GTARG and we'll keep an eye out for that. And if any of you are in the True Theorist Discord go ahead and post them there. You know I pop in from time to time. And if you're not and you would like to join the link will be in the description. It's a fan made Discord service for the ARG and a few social things as well. It's a nice little community of loyal theorists trying to crack the case and also they're very friendly and everything and a quick side note this has nothing to do with anything but I see them advertising my videos which freaking is awesome that my videos is one of their go-to links and the fact that my videos pop up when you search for the ARG on Google or YouTube and thank you guys so much for making the videos popular enough to be some of the top results. I already ordered my merch with the thank you to Creator Inc because they actually emailed me the day before it went live telling me the exact time that it would 
So I've already ordered mine and I've just been waiting on it to arrive and when it does, I'll go ahead and post the photo up on Twitter with the hashtag GTARG and I'll try and get the picture scanned so so there's not light reflected and you guys can see it just the way I would, no angles, nothing like that. So the very last thing I have to say is that a half hour ago while I was making this video, Game Theory announced that they are doing a charity live stream. So what I would like from you guys is to pop over to Game Theory or GT Live, which it'll probably be GT Live, and just help out with the live stream any way you can. There is a schedule so you guys can see what games they're gonna play. So when you want to tune in they have the time listed up there for you guys so you know when it begins it will be tomorrow which is november 26 at 12 p.m est so check your time zones and make sure you adjust accordingly you guys know the routine if you like the video leave a like share and if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel and come on back for more